Hey everyone, how's it going? Oxbus here and welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to be doing the consecutive battle uh, challenge on my main account today. I'm going to show you guys my setup, but as I do this, I'm also going to tell you all the tips and tricks I think that might help you through this whole thing. Last night, I did it on my stream on my free-to-play account. We passed quest 8, but we got stuck on quest 9, but we made it pretty close. If you guys want to see a free-to-play strategy that I did on... Um, my free to play account with Elder Kyrie X or Shiani X, you might want to check out my stream a little bit halfway. I'm trying to make a stream highlight for that or just redo it, but I got to go work today. So once I have that done, I'll get it up as soon as possible. Free to play guide. But for now, we're going to do this with Shiani X and Kyrie X because last night a lot of you guys told me, even with Shion and Kyrie X, some of you are having problems. Uh, some of you just made it. So I want to show you my strategy and what I did. So uh, the quest is here for quite a long time. Before we even do anything, guys, this quest is only for 11% booster, and even if it was for the full booster, uh, what do you guys got right now is only for 22 days. So if you guys end up spending jewels, if you end up spending Mickey and brooms, if you end up spending, spending skills, sorry about that noise, that's someone subscribing, I uh, forgot to turn it off. But if you guys end up spending anything for this quest, all you're getting are these boosters that are going to disappear in 22 days so you're not getting any value out of this quest so do not stress about it there's nothing that's going to happen here that's going to screw over your game so just 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 a just a disclosure there just don't spend anything okay that's all i gotta say don't spend anything for this quest it's not worth it it's just a nice challenge to finally have some refreshing content that actually makes you think of strategies even for people who have Kyrie and Shion X it's great there's nothing like so demanding that you have to complete this quest unless you want to compete in Coliseum of course but besides that you're totally fine to just play this game uh, do this quest try your best strategy if it doesn't work out don't worry about it but uh, this is what I use for this strategy uh, everything here is pretty straightforward uh, i guess i'm gonna go in equipment so i can show you traits so the setup is like this this is the traits i have extra attack on slot 5 but i'm not using it i didn't use it when i did my first run through just so i could actually make this guide um everything you see here is basically from the debut banner the fallen price deals except for the nominee the nominee this is the tier 5 one the old one this isn't the new nominee but if you guys pull the new nominee you could use it all you need is a copycat metal to copy your Kyrie x or your shion x depending on what your setup is but for me Kyrie x turns out a lot better because I have a lot of other upright metals that I'll be using through the entire thing. So for this one, Kyrie X, I'm pretty sure it'll still work with Shiani X. If you guys have some more reverse metals, just use a different keyblade. You don't have to use a specific keyblade. Um, everything else is straightforward. I got ground negative 60 on one of them, da damage and raids, max gauges, max HP. So you guys can see uh, the most crazy thing here is this. The other one I got is the HD Vanitas on the pet slot to copy a Hercules or a Valor Genie. I recommend that you find a friend Hercules. Uh, that's the highest multiplier in the game. This is going to be the number one key thing to passing this, guys, is the Hercules or the Genie. Now, originally, I passed this quest with my own Genie here, but I've got a boosted Genie, and he's fully maxed out. So I'm going to try to complete this quest again without using my boosted Genie and just copying a friend uh, Hercules. Now, this Hercules has over 11,475 attack because of all the strength and attack boost 4 max. So if this was fully maxed out, attack boost 5 max, and someone got one with just 1,000 strength, it's totally fine. You don't need this much power. You guys are going to see when I do the quest, I don't use that much power. But the thing is, you want to use Hercules or Genie because that multiplier by time 7 is incredibly insane, guys. Highest multiplier for single target in the game. You don't want to use anything else out of this list. You want to use a Hercules or a Genie. That's going to make the difference about this whole thing so we're gonna go in i'm gonna go straight to the spider because we're all having issues with spiders um and actually i'm gonna go straight to the 1500 the guard arm over here because since i'm using hercules guys hercules is power this is magic and i want to show you that 2400 hp is no problem when you use a setup like this now again my extra attack final form sora i am going to skip out on one of his attacks just so it doesn't do extra damage a lot of you guys don't have extra attack on these metals, but copying it with a HD Shion over here, you guys might be asking yourself, well, isn't that weaker? It's giving you the upright buff, which is really important, and it's also extra damage. All the power reverse metals that I have are complete garbage for that slot, so that is my best bet. Extra upright buff, and we get uh, an extra attack off that. So here we go. I'm going to swipe here. Only 87,000 damage. I'm not going to use my Nova on anyone. When I say only 87,000, 87,000 is quite a lot, but you guys can see this is going to be overkill. So, this is where I want to make the point. This is power versus magic. This is going to be the weakest one here. But look how much damage we're still doing with these metals. Incredible amount of damage. Um, obviously, you need HP recovery. 
and you need a second chance three to use this strategy without using the turtle mode. So that means using Zexion, quadruple cast with like Chicken Little and all that. You want to lower these guys' attacks if you want to do a turtle. Incredibly really good if you can lower the attacks by seven. If you can get their general strength down by seven, you're pretty much safe for the whole entire thing. But this is just straight in, throw them a beating and walk out. It works out really, really good. Take out the auto battle again. If I was using, uh, let's see, a ma sorry, a speed metal instead of the power metal. Hercules is the power metal. If I was using a speed metal, this would have died on this turn. But because we're using Hercules, that's why we need the second chance three. Uh, second chance three turns out really good for two enemies in this entire place. And right here, we're going to hit again. But you guys can see 425 HP bars left using Hercules B as our main damage dealer along with uh, Riku and Final Form Sword being casted twice. So really works out really nice uh, but this isn't the biggest issue I just want to show you that we are using power power versus magic does not mean your metal is going to be weak it just means it's going to do less damage instead of using a speed metal but if your metal is super powerful that doesn't even matter now that's my first cast there it doesn't matter with a high multiplier like Hercules B you can face power versus magic with no problem so let's go to the spider which is the biggest one and the main thing here guys i'm also gonna give you tips of what's really happening here so what ends up happening if you do if you get killed by it by its normal turns so i'm gonna raise its counters its counters are not gonna hit me during this turn which makes this very important because this first turn is just us getting all our power in there ripping into him doing as much damage as we can and then walking out so i'm gonna switch out for my uh sword here to make sure i don't do the extra attack because again it's extra damage i'm gonna swipe here and then we're gonna go for the rest so first turn we're gonna get sleep we're gonna get poisoned we're gonna get all that stuff because that's part of his main kit uh the spider does all that that's where you need your pet rank to be at least to have a uh, asuna to take away all the paralysis to take away the sleep to take away the poison all that stuff or whatever he puts on you so in this case we're gonna get hp recovery from the pet and asuna one now we're gonna go for another rotation but during this rotation and this is why copying kairi is really important besides all the buffs and debuffs is for that counter up because we're gonna get to go through a full rotation right now and we're gonna get to finish it off with a bigger bang now if you guys have been following me for a long time you know exactly what's gonna happen here what happens when an enemy's counter reaches zero is that he's gonna kill us all right but it doesn't add any effects on us we're totally fine what is gonna happen though because the counter went to zero so that's at one right now watch our buffs and watch our debuffs we are maxed out so it doesn't really matter but if you don't have maxed out buffs and debuffs what ends up happening is we're gonna get killed right here. We're gonna get recovered by second chance three because skill perk is OP right now with second chance three. It's like 100% proc rate almost. So it always happens. But what ends up happening here is that the enemy keeps all its debuffs. So your medals are gonna do an insane amount of damage. So this is more important to make sure those counters go all the way down. If you guys have one more extra turn on there because you're not double casting or something, use Nova to mess around with the counters to make it reach zero before he uses his main attack. But you guys can see, ripped into the spider no problem and these are all from the fallen price debut banner medals the hd shion uh the vanitas there all that it's pretty straightforward and even if you guys don't have hd shion she was kind of overkill as you guys see i didn't get to finish my full rotation on two of these enemies now the rest of the enemies are straightforward uh they're all the same thing they have less hp and it's very simple from here and the previous room i think the enemies are only level 1250 or they might have been all 1500 but guys this is pretty much the whole entire quest. Uh, didn't even use Nova, but the swipes did count as Nova on most of them. But you guys saw Overkill. I didn't use full rotation to finish these guys off. So, you can definitely t uh, tweak around the settings on my setup here. Like I said before, if you don't have that Aishi Shion, you can probably take her away for something else. Maybe another copycat metal that you have. Copy, just a copy... Uh, what do you call it? Sora over here. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's going to do some damage. And it's also going to give you Sora's upright buff. That's what you guys want to do. Upright or reverse buffs, depending on your Keyblade setups. That is the number one buff in the game. Upright and reverse. Then you guys want to get your strength. Uh, right here where you see strength by 7, that is a max. You guys want to get your strength up by 7 every single fight. So get your upright or your reverse and then get your strength. Then make sure you have general defense down on the enemy, and then everything else is just like uh, cream on the cake, <laughs> whatever it's called. I can't even think right now. It's just uh, icing on the top. So make sure you get those three first. General defense down, general attack up for you, and you guys want that reverse and upright strength buff. That is number one. So with that being said, get all those buffs in there, and then find 
find your strongest metals if you guys do have the genie if you do have the hercules um i would say they are worth it genie especially because you're not going to get them again i would say he's worth the mickey brooms high high multiplier but there is metals that are going to be coming out but um if you want to be strong right now guys this is the key to passing this quest valor genie and hercules uh i think it's called hercules what is it just hercules b yeah it is just hercules b my attack boost 3 max sp gauge 1 i could have put that there too if my copycat metal was busy so if I had to use this copycat metal to copy my uh, Shion or to copy my Sora, I would do so. And then I would put my own Hercules B here, fully guilted. But if you don't want to use Mickey and, Broom, Mickey and Brooms uh, to do anything to your Valor Genie or to your Hercules, then just use a copycat metal that's fully maxed out and copy your friend's Genie or Valor Genie. Or Genie or Valor Genie. Hercules or Genie. <laughs> So, uh, that's pretty much it. I am going to try to do a free play guide as soon as I can. Today, I got to go to work in the next half an hour, I think. What time is it? Yeah, in about 17 minutes, I got to leave for work. So, hopefully, I got to upload this right away and get that out for you guys. But for now, guys, if you have any other tips for everyone else, uh, some strategies, including free to play with Elt, Kyrie X, or Shinox, or using, like, DuckTail Metals or using 0.2 Kyrie, leave it down in the comment section to help out the community. Hopefully, something here helped you out. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.